I want every American to know that I'm taking inflation uh, very seriously, and it's my top for domestic priority. We're all concerned about the economy, the number one American problem. Republicans blaming Democrats and Democrats blaming Republicans, but nothing gets done. Biden gave a talk this morning, blamed everybody else on inflation. He took no responsibility and has no plan. Citing a weak economy to run against incumbents is an old D.C. tactic. The midterms are heating up, and we've heard from many leaders here on the beat, including Washington leaders, top Biden White House officials, you see there. And now we turn to one of the most influential conservative leaders in the nation, Matt Schlapp, who's out on the campaign trail in Georgia today. Schlapp is a veteran of the Bush White House, now chair of the American Conservative Union, which runs the annual CPAC conference. Matt, thanks for joining me. Great to be back with you, Ari. Absolutely. Let's start big picture. If you were talking to an independent or even a Biden 2020 voter, what is the argument for electing a Republican Congress now? That uh, the goal, I think, of first of all, those Biden voters, it, whether they're Democrats or independents, was, you know, I, I heard it over and over again. I want to go back to some sense of normalcy. We seem to have a lot of drama in our politics. Maybe things can just kind of calm down. And unfortunately, these policies, which I think are extreme, uh, that have come from Joe Biden super juicing uh, the economy, stopping all these fossil fuel projects, uh, making it harder to use your land to, uh, you know, uh, raise crops or to uh, uh, have animals, ranchers, farmers, all these land policies, all these fossil fuel projects have made it a lot harder for people to afford to fill their gas tank, to put food on the table. They're watching inflation, which is a thief in the night, and it's almost like a tax increase on every American. So you could look at it and say, take away the donkey, take away the elephant. What's the impact on people's lives? And if you look at polls, these policies are devastating. Yeah, and you, and you mentioned the prices. That's hitting everybody. People are hurting. Uh, you have the GOP plan. I'll put that up when you mention inflation, because uh, they have this commitment to America plan. Um, it says, after all this crushing inflation, Democrats have no plan to solve it. Um, since we get to hear from you tonight, I guess the question is, what specifically will Republicans do? Because Mitch McConnell raised a lot of interest when he said out loud, no one's going to get to know the agenda in advance. Right. Take a look. If Republicans take back control of Congress after the midterms, what would be your agenda? That is a very good question. And I'll let you know when we take it back. You're a conservative leader. Is, is your view that that stands and it's a trust us, we'll tell you later? Or is there a specific plan to do something different than this White House on, on inflation? Well, Ari, when I come on your show, I'm here as a my own person who's running a conservative group. I'm not here to be an apologist for the elephant. And I would say that when Republicans don't tell people what their agenda is, uh, it makes it look dubious that either they have one or that they're going to do hmm. something nefarious when they get in. So I, I applaud Rick Scott for having an agenda. You know, Republicans stubbed their toe on repealing Obamacare because they never kind of got around what an alternative would look like. So criticisms of the Republican Party So you Party think McConnell was... ...were fair. You said Scott, and he did put more details. You think McConnell was a little off base there? I think it's an old-school way of playing politics, which is, hey, if we talk about what our proposals are the media will immediately start attacking them, as they did, Rick Scott. It is a fair concern. And so well, Scott, just and, run and on the since, Biden policies. And, since you brought I it agree. up, Scott wanted to cut Social Security. You think at CPAC, you think that's a good idea, at your conservative I group. think, look, I, what I liked about Scott's policies is, don't make me regret the fact that I want to put policies out, by the way, Ari, but what I liked about Scott's policies is, is that that's more honest and fair with the American people. His real question, let's go back to inflation. How are you going to tame the inflation tiger? When I was a kid, we had double-digit interest rates, and Jimmy Carter's solution was to use interest rates to try to bring inflation back down. It was awfully tough on my parents when they were trying to sell their house and, 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 and high mortgage interest rates. Okay, but the other side of this equation for Republicans is we want to constrain government spending. Joe Biden believes in superjuicing the economy, which causes inflation. We want to restrain the government. So it's fair to say that when Republicans get into office, people like me are going to advocate for less government spending. I'll put it right out there on the table. Yeah. Well, hey, and we're going back to talk of a couple policies here. I think that's useful. Whether you regret it or not, as a conservative leader, uh, I think only I the voters regret. can make you regret it, not not me. Right. That's right. Uh, I By want the way, to the voters are on my side. We're looking pretty good in these polls. I'm in all these states. It's going to be a big red wave, no matter what people in the media say. You're feeling say. confident. Take all it right. to the bank. 
Hey, I'm Ari Melber. Thanks for watching The Beat. I wanted to let you know I'm writing a foreword to the January 6th committee's full report, which is coming out soon from HarperCollins. You can go pre-order the book right now, and it'll come to you first when the report comes out, in the fall or whenever the government releases it. Just search Melber Jan 6 on Amazon or your favorite independent book site and click pre-order. You'll be the first to get both the report and my new piece on the coup conspiracy. You can also go to melberbook.com and order it there.